Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Chris and I am the uh, Chief Growth Officer for Hacker Exchange. And so like normally when you're at a startup company, you kind of get to make up your own job title. Um, so I did. Uh, so I'm, I'm called Chief Growth Officer. So pretty much I run the, do the kind of commercial arm for the business, kind of the sales and business development. I get to work with great um, universities like Cardiff. Um, so yeah, I'm currently based in Australia at a uh, city called Adelaide. Uh, currently zero COVID cases. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, originally, uh, this is not an Australian accent. So I grew up in California. Um, and yeah, we'd love to uh, soon learn about if everyone is based in Cardiff now or um, currently overseas. So feel free to jump in the chat, like tell me where your current location is, even though I actually can't see the chat right now. So I'll try my best. But um, so typically um, in Australia, uh, you do a thing called uh, like an acknowledgement of country. And what that is, is that we, um, yeah, we recognize the traditional owners of the land that um, we meet on. So I uh, usually with any sort of information session or presentation in Australia, we acknowledge the uh, traditional owners of, of the land. And so in my case, I live in Adelaide. So it's traditional owners are called the Ghana people. Um, and we respect their elders past and present. So that's how we usually start every meeting in Australia. So a little bit about us, we're called Hex. What we do is we support universities to be a hell of a lot more innovative. So we bridge the gap between like traditional university education and the rapid changes that are happening in, in tech and work through uh, immersive entrepreneurship and innovation programs. Um, and uh, as I'll show you shortly, we used to be doing this um, around the world and obviously we're doing it virtually now. Um, we partner, uh, partner with universities around the world. And for what we do, especially in the virtual space, we uh, are multi-award winning. We, uh, you know, we, we've won awards for innovation and online programming, um, for uh, international employability, those kind of things as well. So I think you've come to the right place. Um, this is uh, what it used to look like when we used to run things in person for a program like this. Um, one to two weeks in length, uh, taking an idea um, and taking it to um, going to, to a pitch uh, within two weeks and having industry leaders and mentors uh, guide you from just being able to come up with an idea to all the way to presenting it to international investors. And so we were doing this in San Francisco, Silicon Valley area, Tel Aviv, Singapore, and Melbourne. And what we do now is we've taken the best bits of all those international experiences. And for the time being, we are gonna to try to make the most kick-ass and impactful and fun education that you can deliver online. And what's nice is that if you're already over the way that I present, don't worry, I, I'm not in charge of running the programs. We have much better uh, people who are presenting and will throw, be throwing a lot of tech at you uh, throughout it. So yeah, we do things like augmented and virtual reality and on uh, whole different types of platforms for this program. So why are we here today? We're here to talk about the great global challenge, uh, which is taking place during your summer um, in uh, June, early uh, July. So for you guys and for students in the US will be starting on the 27th uh, for those in uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand and the AA general APAC region will start on the 28th. Um, and I'll talk about why there are two different dates because we run these uh, bad boys 24 um, seven nonstop. So uh, last year, the Great Global Challenge focused on, um, on COVID, on helping sectors um, be yeah, more resilient and having a whole bunch of students from all around the world choose different sectors to kind of uh, help kickstart uh, economies and provide solutions. And so what we're, we're a bit COVIDed out, let's be fair. So what we're thinking about doing is um, doing human rights in a post-truth uh, post world. So what does that mean? I'd be interested to see what you guys think about what post-truth is meaning to you. Um, for us, it's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking things like, I see a shit ton of like deep fakes out there. We, in the States, you know, election interference, there's a coup in Myanmar. <laughs> um, uh, we have, uh, you know, there's a top of a global pandemic, you know, people can't trust what they see and how do we protect privacy in this? And we want to bring students from tech backgrounds and non-tech backgrounds from all different academic disciplines to come together to develop uh, a tech enabled solution uh, to protect human rights in a post-truth world. So that's going to be the challenge uh, for this year's uh, program. So we're pretty excited about it. Um, I think it's going to be a, a pretty fun one, fun topic. 
So you're probably wondering like, okay, how the hell does this all work? So uh, what we do is we put students in uh, teams from, so each university, and I can, I'll share about the different universities that are involved, but pretty much we'll have students from Australia, from the APAC region, um, from New Zealand, um, from the US, uh, and of course uh, the UK as well. And a lot of the UK students, especially if you're gonna be on, on your summer holidays, uh, you might be normally living across Europe. So we're gonna have, you know, 10, 15 countries involved on, on one period. And so what we do is we put you into teams based on your device, diverse skills, diverse locations. Um, and we do this uh, by asking you a series of questions through um, a um, online video interview. But one of the things we're really kind of interested to learn more about you and let me know in the chat, like which category you relate in. So we either say you're a hacker, a hipster, a humanist or a hustler. And what I mean by that is like, if you're a hacker, you know, you like to work with technology, you can, you know how to code, you're a problem solver. Um, hipster, you like to work with design, uh, you create things that are beautiful to use, uh, you're all about the experience. Uh, humanist, you know, you like to think about um, how you can drive positive impact for people um, um, and uh, communities and society. And a hustler, which is probably more, that's probably where I would align most with was like, you know, I like to work with people. I'm more business minded, thinking about strategy, how to commercialize something. So we, we try to bring hacker, hipster, humanists and hustlers all together to uh, develop a solution uh, together. So you might be one of these things, you might be all four, but that's one of the things that we're gonna be asking you when you apply for the program. So time zones. Now I'm in Australia. It's late. You're in the UK. It's morning. We'll have people in the States. It's middle of the night uh, there right now or whatever. So like, how, do, how does this all work? So pretty much what we do is we run a live uh, program that is 24 hours a day. All the workshops, everything does not stop. So for you, you're able to, depending if you're like an early bird or a late uh, a late <laughs> night, um, you know, like a night owl, you can dip into live workshops with your team on like three main teaching, live teaching blocks. So, you know, if you're an early riser, you can just jump in and to like do it at the 6 a.m. slot, which is going to be like, you know, evening for Australia, et cetera. So it, no matter like what type of way, what kind of way you're a learner, what kind of way you um, want to collaborate, um, you'll be able to actually do this no matter where you are in the world, which is pretty exciting. Um, so in terms of like men your mentors and the people that are gonna be sort of supporting you on the program, we bring in as part of the Hex Network, a, um, a global mentor network of, of innovators and leaders through all different types of sectors. We're talking about people who are designers at Google, who are cloud innovation leads at Amazon Web Services, who solutions architects from like Zendesk, you know, startup CEOs, government, investment people, um, we have um, venture capitalists, you know, a whole broad range of leaders that are, you know, based in Silicon Valley or Tel Aviv or Singapore across Australia. Um, you know, last year we had um, a Nobel Prize winner of physics, uh, who was the president of a university. We had a, new, a, um, a Grammy Award nominee who was talking about the COVID impact on the arts. So we bring a lot of amazing people to directly to you to, to mentor you through going from an idea all the way to pitching a solution to a panel of investors within six exhausting but amazing uh, days. And so, uh, of course, uh, just because we're just, you know, I'm just a nice company in general, we're going to throw some money at you as well. So uh, for the first place team, you're going to get uh, 2000 uh, US, which I, I don't know what that is in pounds. So hello, if you want to, or Chris, if you want to like do the conversion for that, uh, let me know on the pounds. Um, second, uh, for second place is the thousand and um, third place, you uh, you and uh, the rest of the, the second place, first place get what we call extras. So access to our, our large community uh, benefits and, you know, coaching a year, you know, year full access to the No Code Academy. Um, access to exclusive events, you know, all the swag packs, uh, Amazon Web Service credits, GitHub uh, education packs, professional community, and discounts on future programs. So um, yeah, so some pretty good stuff for if you uh, if you win. And I, I definitely see the chat blowing up. I can't, for some reason, on using Microsoft Keynote, I can't see like the chat bot for some reason. So hopefully I'll get through this quickly and then I'll answer the questions at the end. Sorry, guys, because I know that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Is there anything immediate? Oh, hey, what's up, Jeanette? Hey, I can see How's the chat. 
pretty good. Um, g'day happening? from Melbourne, Australia, everyone. How Sorry to you? interrupt this. No, that's all good. How's it going? Pretty good. It's nice and dark over here. It's really nice to be um, chatting to, to people over in the UK and really excited to have you guys join us on the Great Global Challenge this year. I'm Jeanette, our CEO of Hacker Exchange. Sorry to dive in mid-sentence. I just wanted to let you know I can see the chat. Um, one of the questions was also about um, where to apply. So we can we can jump back on that shortly, I think. Um, oh, 100%. Yeah. So we'll be going that, uh, hitting that up closer to the end. Um, any other questions at this time? Um, and Jeanette, uh, feel free to also... Uh, you know, do the color commentary or the, uh, yeah, or the peppering of some, of some, you know, yeah, truth bombs and others kind of stuff throughout this as well. Um, no but actually, I mean, actually, while you're here, um, you know, could you talk a little bit about, because you're, you're more, more uh, charming than I am on this, about, you know, going from ideation to pitch within six days, how the hell is it possible? <laughs> I mean, it's possible because we put you in incredible teams that are around the world and you're working with people with absolute cross-disciplinary skills. So whatever you're bringing, other people are bringing that as well uh, with their own magic to it. Um, that relay race across time zones is really kind of special. So instead of just six days, you're actually probably getting you know, 12 because there's like the double up of the of the working day with your, your colleagues around the world. Um, I'm really, really pumped about this challenge as well. Chris did such a great job explaining it. I think, you know, we're looking at a situation where we're trying to protect human rights in a post truth world. Um, there is so much out there that we can we can explore and, and we can give you some examples later about some of the diversity of the solutions that people come up with. Um, and I think that this particular one uh, is going to really invite some creativity and some uh, real intelligence. So I'm pumped about it. Yeah, 100%. Um, so just to go over the uh, program, uh, just the kind of high level program uh, briefly is uh, you start out with uh, learning about global startup ecosystems. Um, you go into um, ideation and actually building a business model canvas with your team. Um, you start learning how to actually do customer research and like surveying your potential customers for the solution. Um, for people who have never prototyped before, like me, you will learn how to actually create a prototype in a very short period of time. We're talking about like within an hour or two. Um, it's actually pretty mind blowing for people who are especially non techy like myself being able to do that and learning about um, UI design. And, and throughout that, of course, you'll be learning from industry. So you're meeting with startup CEOs. Um, you're getting uh, all of this pitch coaching and public speaking um, coaching from like people who train people for TED Talks and prepare people for really big pitches. So these are people based out of like in Tel Aviv and, and Silicon Valley who are working with like scale up companies to prepare them for like major investment. These are going to be the types of people that are be teaching you as an undergrad Cardiff student, which is pretty exciting um, as well. And you're just going to learn a lot of stuff along the way, learning about investment, um, how to actually like, you know, like prepare for something like that and what P what VCs are looking for. And, and of course, throughout that, you're going to get just a lot of real advice from industry leaders and startup CEOs who've done who've made heaps of mistakes and have finally come out on the other side and they're able to like save you years of time uh, by supporting you on a program like this. Um, and at the end, yeah, you are pitching to a panel of investors and industry leaders and maybe we'll throw a couple of surprises in there. We still, um, yeah, any, we, we've gotten some really interesting people who are at the table ready to listen to you and to hear about your team's ideas. And they are genuinely there to hear what you have to say, provide advice, and potentially connect you to um, bigger and um, greater things uh, uh, after the program as well. Yeah, cool. Um, so this is kind of what a typical day uh, looks like. Uh, starting out in the morning, it could be evening for you, or uh, uh, you know, afternoon for for you, morning for you. D depends on when you're kind of logging on. But um, going through the plans of the day, having goal setting. Uh, of course, then throughout the day, we'll have different live workshops. And I just want to be really clear on this is that nothing is pre-recorded. Like nothing, everything is going to be live throughout the full six days, whatever time zone you're in, you are not getting pre-recorded bullshit. You are getting live off the cuff, um, fantastic programming, no pre-recorded uh, business as well. Um, so, uh, so besides the workshops, uh, you'll be getting really intimate experiences with founders of companies. Um, you'll then be able to actually have like, uh, you know, small group mentorship with our amazing mentor network, followed by some more workshops. And of course, we're throwing plenty of breaks for you to catch up on food, sleep, um, 
uh, and being able to actually work together with your team. What's that, Jeanette? Sleep is optional. Sleep is sleep is optional. This will be the toughest program you'll ever love for sure. It'll be exhausting. Um, and of course, you'll be getting um, talks uh, from industry leaders on the latest and greatest uh, within the tech uh, with tech and a wide range of different in, uh, industries as well. And we like to do a lot of social activities for you because this is this is supposed to be fun. So we 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 have plenty of. Um, what <laughs> besides drinks, uh, Jeanette, what else do we have? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we play Among Us, we do other sorts of like treasure hunt type things. I mean, I know it sounds a bit silly, but at the end of the day, the reason we do this is partly because we actually want you guys to connect with your peers um, around the world. There's some really great people uh, in different universities at a time when you can't physically get there to do an exchange program. This could be the time that you make um, awesome friends uh, that you can go visit once the travel restrictions lift. So uh, we definitely are all about forging those real connections uh professional and personal and so we're really excited about that too yeah definitely um cool so can I, can, uh can I talk about this yes, one yes well yeah yeah, so, yeah yeah so when we when you join the great global challenge apart from the actual workshops and skills that we teach you there's kind of like an implicit um, skill set that will also teach that you'll also pick up during the time and all of this stuff is stuff that you can use in future job interviews, um, when you're making portfolios, it's kind of the, it's kind of the, the magic interview question that people are going to be looking for um, when they're asking, asking you why you should get the job. So lots of different things from, you know, a goal, goal formation to understanding diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Um, there'll be lots of kind of uh, mindset work and a little bit of self-reflection on your leadership style. Um, and then just really, really practical things like user interface design. Um, growth hacking and growth marketing. Uh, and all of this is the kind of content where someone in your team has to attend everything. You can work that out amongst yourselves. Um, and that's how you're eligible to, to go into the final. So we just want to make sure that someone in your team attends everything. Don't, you don't have to attend everything. Yeah. Yeah. Last round, uh, we did have like some students speaking like, how are we supposed to be like, get up? It's like, no, no, as long as one team member, because yeah, it's a 24 seven program. So yeah, please, yeah, you don't have to attend everything yourself. Definitely. Um, so uh, is this for you? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, so we work with students from any academic discipline on the, you know, as we talked about earlier, uh, the diversity aspect of the team is so crucial. So we'll have students from different um, academic disciplines. When we talked about the uh, hacker, hustler, humanist, uh, you know, we want to be able to have a whole range of people on a team to make it uh, stronger. So uh, the parts are greater than the whole. So, um, you know, whether you are wanting to maybe pursue a business in the future, whether you are just interested in innovation, if you are just about social impact and innovation and the future of work and just building up those skills, um, you, this is, this is the exact program uh, for you. And I know you guys, I think will be all undergrads, but you will be with, um, other teams where they will have, you know, postgraduate uh, students, maybe some PhDs as well. So any academic discipline, any degree level, um, it's, uh, yeah, so it should be a really uh, fun mixed bunch. So yes, is this for you? Absolutely. Look at this good looking alumni and you could be one of them as well. So we have um, yeah, a really large network of about, you know, four to 500 um, hexes as we call them all around the world. They are launching social enterprises. They're getting investment. They're getting great jobs. You know, Sarah Tan is ex Google. We have um, just a really, a, you know, fantastic network who is really supportive. Um, and yeah, what Jeanette has done, you know, founding Hacker Exchange has created just an amazing pay it forward ethos uh, that runs through all the programs where students like you after the program um, are not only just kicking ass, but you're also helping bring people uh, with you on, on the journey. So if you get a great job and there's, you know, someone, um, you know, hiring within your company, like, you know, if we have so many alumni who are helping uh, the other alumni out with future employment opportunities as well. So it's a really, you're, you'll be joining a truly global and exciting and really helpful network as well. Um, Jenna, anything to add to that? I, because yeah, this is, yeah, you've, you've designed uh, the, the, the matrix of this. <laughs> I mean, this is truly why, you know, I get out of bed in the morning is because I'm really passionate about helping to create this next generation of leaders, uh, which is, which is you guys, basically, it's people that are going to start businesses, 
uh, you know, be at the top of businesses, grow them, um, and really use this kind of next generation leadership and this thinking that we're instilling into people um, to help make the world a slightly better place. Um, it's, I think, I think we're starting from a pretty low bar at the moment, given what's going <laughs> yeah. on around the world. Um, and yes, and you, as Chris said, this alumni network is very powerful um, and they're very, um, yeah, they're really, really generous. So you will be joining a network of people that are going to have you back through your career. Yeah. And like, and, and I say it again, but just a, a really diverse bunch, like someone who's launching satellites to doing design at, at Google, to founding social enterprises, to doing agri-tech in, in developing countries, to creating new software, to managing and, 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 and supporting larger communities and creating video games. It's, it's all over the shop. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely for you. Now, Jenna, do you mind just talking briefly? Cause I think we're getting close to running out of time, but could you kind of talk yep. about the diversity of the type of solutions? So as, as you guys know, last year was all about helping uh, COVID impacted sectors uh, for the global challenge. So this is what they kind of came up with. Yeah, so just because it's got a theme doesn't mean you have to all do the same thing. And this was kind of one of the most exciting parts of the challenge for us was to see what came out. So the top three uh, teams from last year included KidCal, which was helping um, parents manage sort of education obligations while they were also working from home as soon as schools went virtual. Um, there was also Walk With You, which was all about helping and supporting the homeless population in, a, in the COVID times and making sure that they had the resources that they needed. Um, and helping sort of society and services connect with the homeless population. Um, and then finally, there was Exhibit, which is actually a really interesting art sector project. Uh, you know, this startup was all about um, being like the Netflix for art exhibitions. So really helping to support um, live art and visual art in a time when people couldn't get to galleries. So you can see straight away that even though we had COVID as a theme, um, there was three really, really fresh and fascinating ideas. And so this year with you know, protecting human rights in a post-truth world. Gosh, you could go absolutely anywhere with that one. Um, politics, media, you know, feminist issues, all sorts yeah, of different seriously, things. Seriously, like go, go, go big. Like just go, like go deep on, on something. We're like, we can handle it, bring it on. Um, so uh, the organizations that we work with, I think you've heard a lot of the, um, a lot of these. Um, yeah, we're very, we're very fortunate to have such a a wonderful network of, of mentors and support to be able to help you through uh, your journey on this program. Um, and yeah, we're gonna throw a hell of a lot of tech at you as well to be able to, uh, so that you're leveled up on best practice uh, when you graduate and be able to enter industry. Um, so everything from Slack to, to Notion, to Figma, to uh, for your rapid prototyping, to um, yeah, obviously the G Suite and Slack standard, absolutely. And um, yeah, collaboration tools like Miro as well. Okay, so nitty gritty. Um, basically, we have a really straightforward application process, uh, and it's located at the link there, hacker.exchange slash apply dash GGC. Maybe, Jeanette, if you wouldn't mind putting it in the chat as well, it'd be amazing. Thank you. Now, um, Chris or Helen, maybe jump in. If um, Do you have a set internal deadline for Cardiff uh, for the applications that would uh, that you sit with? Normally, we were going with like a mid-April to early May, but is there anything in Yeah, particular? I think the deadline we have initially set is the 21st of March. Um, so that's in a few days, actually. So yeah, right. if you are yeah, interested, yeah. definitely get, it was good timing for <laughs> this talk. Um, so yeah, definitely get your applications in um, as soon as you can, really. Um, yeah, ideally. Cool. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right. Yes. Go, go to that website right now then <laughs> everybody. Um, and so to confirm, uh, price is, is on the house for eligible undergraduate students, uh, from the eligibility that we mentioned at the beginning of the, um, of the talk. And so the brief application really is, uh, learning a little bit more about you in a very short written application. I'm talking about like your name, university, what you're studying, um, the idea that you think you'd kind of want to work on, um, you know, like, uh, you know, for this uh, human rights of the post-truth world. Um, and then it's a really quick one-way video interview, just asking a few questions that helps us best place you on a team. It's like, it's not scary. It's not like a traditional interview for like a job. We're literally just wanting to find out more about you so we can help you get uh, into the best team, but also for the mentors that are gonna be supporting you throughout this program. So we have a really uh, a good idea about um, which, yeah, how we can help. And of course, if there is anyone that um, requires any additional support in terms of disability, anything else, um, 
please let us know. We are here to help. Um, our email address, and uh, Jenna, if you can put this into the chat as well, sorry, um, is info at hacker.exchange. Um, and these are the uh, Glo Great Global Challenge uh, partners. So um, along with uh, wonderful Cardiff, you'll be joined by University of Technology uh, Sydney in Australia, the University of Auckland in New Zealand, um, the University of California, um, San Diego campus and Riverside campus and Irvine campuses, uh, Monash University in Australia, University of Southampton, not too far from you guys and City University of London as well. And today we actually just are gonna be bringing on um, the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology in Australia as well to join. Uh, so you'll be having a really diverse uh, group. And so, yes, we've probably taken up so much time. We're probably running late. So sorry. Uh, question time. Let me end the sharesies. Um, Thank you so much. That was really interesting. Oh, and I yeah, think it's such a great opportunity and, and quite. I didn't, yeah. I didn't so know Jeanette was um, coming. So that was a real treat as well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, yes. Any questions we've got? We, we, we have run out of time, but if anyone's got a quick question, if you can pop it in the Q&A. Um, we'll give you a couple of minutes, but we we will need to end it because we've got a technical issue and we can't start the next session until this session has ended. So, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, um, you have got the email in the chat there. Um, so if you do have any questions following um, today's session, do yes, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, and of course, you can get in touch with us as well in the Global Opportunities if you have any questions about the funding or eligibility. Um, yeah don't, nothing seems to be coming through on mine so if that's okay with everyone we'll end it there but yeah obviously do get in touch and thank you very much both oh my absolute pleasure thank you so much for inviting <laughs> us and look forward to your applications get them in quick go go yes, go get them in all right lovely thank you guys cheers thank you thank, thank you, you.